Good evening. I'm Kip Darling, and you're watching continuing coverage of The Search for a Supervillain. Joining us via satellite are Ratchet and Clank, the heroes who defeated Dr. Nefarious over two years ago. Ratchet, Clank, thank you for coming. Thank you for having us, Kip. First, he was dead. Then he was status unknown. Now authorities have upgraded Dr. Nefarious to alive and at large. Will Ratchet and Clank join the search team? Clank and I talked about it, and we both decided it's time to go back to the way things were, you know? Fixing ships, playing hollow games till three in the morning. Leave the hero stuff to the other guys. Like Galactic President Quark. Yeah. Or anyone else. Ratchet? What? I didn't vote for the guy. I, I believe what Ratchet is trying to say is, we have full confidence in President Quark's abilities, and I am sure he will not rest until Nefarious is captured. Well, with that in mind, let's check in with President Quark at the Presidential Compound in Meridian City. President Quark? President Quark? Uh, uh, she was taking a memo. Uh, oh, uh, good morning, citizens. I was just, uh, analyzing. Ah, yes. These figures seem optimal. Very promising. Uh, sir, you're reading a cereal box. <laughs> ah, is there something I can do for you, taxpayer? The Polaris Defense Force claims Lawrence teleported Dr. Nefarious to safety prior to the destruction of his space station. What measures are you taking to track down this fugitive? Extreme measures, Kip. Every morning I wake up, I look around, I ask everyone I see, and so far, no dice. Hey, Ziff, you seen Dr. Nefarious? No! See? The guy's a ghost! Then do you have a message for citizens who believe Dr. Nefarious is planning another attack? Absolutely. There is no danger. Everything is under control. So relax, kick back, and put your faith in myself and Vice President Scrunch. Thank you, President Quark. Coming up, 10 million ways your Lupa Sponge can kill you. Right after this. I humbly accept this award for subduing the insidious light-eating Zagroot against near-impossible odds. How's that sound? Quark, doesn't accepting an award for something you didn't do make you feel the slightest bit deceitful? It depends. Does deceitful mean impressive? Heroic? Oh, inspiring Fine, I don't care what it means. We're talking about a light-eating Zagroot here. You know what this will do for my approval rating? I never even heard of an Intergalactic Tool of Justice Award. Who did you say invited you? I don't know. The guy was all cloak and dagger on the phone. But I'm sure the whole thing's on the up and up. Look at him. Peacefully slumbering in the warm embrace of cryosleep. I don't know about this. Maybe we should call Kronk and Zephyr. Oh, Ratchet. So young, so unused to the spoils of do-goodery. Don't worry. When you're a hero, you'll understand. House lights? Well, hello, Mr. President! So kind of you to accept my invitation. Dr. Nefarious. I was wondering when you'd be showing up. Is that your new space station? Looks a little smaller than the last one. Oh, you're hysterical. Let's see you crack jokes from inside the digestive tract of a Sagroot! Oh, goody. I get to reanimate something. <laughs> I think it's time to tend to my resignation.
must stop the Zagrut before he destroys the city. Hello, I'm Chip Darling. And I'm Pepper Fairbank. And we're coming to you live from Luminopolis, where Dr. Nefarious has just released a light-eating Zagrut upon the city. This is an interesting development. It appears that strange unidentified robots have teleported into city limits. I'm no expert, but they don't appear to belong to Dr. Nefarious. Congratulations, citizens. You are now certified to carry a weapon inside city limits. Thank you for your participation in the Friends to Firepower Initiative. Have a truly awesome day. Zagrut has just been sighted making its way towards the Luminopolis power plant, and it looks like the unidentified robots are following. They must be here for the Zagrut. Uh, Kip, you can come out from under your desk. And the fight is on! The entire city watches with bated breath as perhaps the strangest team in Polaris history works to defeat the deadly light-eating Zagrut. And down he goes! This Zagrut has been defeated! I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, this new man hasn't seen anything like this in all his years in the industry. Hmm, perhaps we can make use of those fusion turrets. refuses to come out from behind cover, try your hand at the Plasma Bomb Launcher. This doohickey lobs grenades armed with unstable plasma. For an added kick, try firing multiple plasma bombs at the same target. Zagrut's taken a beating, but it's not ready to quit just yet. Let's hope it doesn't find another power source before our heroes can get their final licks in. What's that, Harvey? Our station manager, Harvey, has just pointed out that a new luminoid generator has been installed on that building. Well, that certainly complicates things. The Groot is down for the count. Absolutely incredible. We'll be right back after this word from our sponsor. Well, it's been a lot of fun catching up, but I got about Not so fast, Nefarious. You've done some underhanded things in your time, but this beats all. I'm starting to think there may not even be an Intergalactic Tool of Justice Award. Ladies and gentlemen, our president. That's not one of mine. Disengaging primary cryo feed. Frank, get the light, would you? Huh? Oh boy. Clank! Where are we? I do not know. Have you located Quark? A little help here? Someone? I think my thing is broken. Oh, perfect. Can this get any worse? Oh, Lance. Kiss me. Love me. Hold me like you used to. 
you before you became a flesh-eating zombie. Quark, would you? Hmm? You twit! You dare lay your squishy hands on me? If I get down from here, I'll rip you in half! Excuse me! What you doing up there? Hey! Hey, little girl. Can you get us out of here? she finds out you're here. Come on, head through the Sector 7 air vent and we'll rendezvous on the south side. A galactic scout never leaves before her mission is complete. Excellent work. You will make fine minions. Over here! You guys are pretty smart. She thinks you're one of them. Hmm, a letter. And it's written in macaroni. Dear Lombax, these vac U's will come in handy. Love, Susie. Hey, let me go, you half oh, I'm trying. Maybe if I just... Miserable, stupid, incompetent. Please, we must all stay calm. We are going to have to work together until we find out where we are and how to get home. Blank's right. For the sake of our own survival and for drama, we must set aside our petty squabbles and act as a singular unit. For now. 